Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show you guys how to publish an npm package on GitLab. So why we need to learn this? I think it's quite common when we work in some company and we have multiple repositories stored in our GitLab and some of the code are duplicated and we want to extract this logic into a package and we can use it anywhere. So first, I need to go to GitLab and create a new project in here I can name it whatever I want in here I will choose test package and press create after that I clone to my local machine Now I will go into this folder and do a bit of cleanup. For the simplicity of this demo, I will just do a very simple function. Here I will create a function that sum and return the sum of two number. So how can we know this function is work as we expected? We create a new folder. This one, I will create a new file, and in here I import the package as I just create. But how can our code know where to find this package? So we go back to our test package. And we do npm link. What this command does is that it makes a simple link in my local machine so that whatever code that requires this test package will point to the location of this code in, in index right here. So if I go back to test code right now and I do npm link and the name of the package I just link in here is test package you can see that in my test code folder there's a node modules and in there there's a sim link point to the code that I just wrote in the test package which is a sum function so now we can go ahead and test our code that's require the package. We do not main. So if we go back here, oh, in here I have a typo in export. So I open the test package again and I do and I do in test code I do MP. The code is working as expected. I have a 7 which is a sum of 3 and 4. So now it's the time to publish our package to GitLab. Let's go back to our test package and update our package location file. There are three new properties that we need to look into. The first one is the name. In order to publish this package to our GitLab repository, I have to change this name with my GitLab handle. So it will be add, follow my GitLab handle, and the name of the package. Next one, I have to create a files property. This is going to be an array of all the files that will be published or released. In this demo, there, there is only one, so it's index. And finally, I need to tell npm where is the registry that I will publish this code. So it's 
but please config and it's gonna be again my GitLab handle column where I string I will put this code in the description of this video but basically you have to put your project ID after the project's focus class and the project ID will be available under the repository name in here you can copy and paste it here so that will be it for the package translation file next I want to write a GitLab CI job to publish this code into GitLab registry so I go to and create a new YAML file in here I will use an image that have node on it so we will have both npm and node The first line we can understand that we will want to create a new npm rc file when the GitLab runner run this job. The three variables CI server host, CI project ID, CI job token will be available and injected automatically inside the GitLab runner. And after that file is available, we can do this command npm publish. And finally, the environment is going to be production. And that will be it. Now we go back to GitLab and create the CI job token. If we go to settings and then repository, in here we open, we expand the deploy tokens tab and create a new token. We can name it whatever we want. And in here I will call it GitLab. Token. All the other fields are optional, but there are two scopes that you guys need to tick on, which is read package registry and write package registry. This token will be used for both for us to publish the package and for other uh, code base to download the package. So I create deploy token. Now, after the token is created, please copy this passcode somewhere. I save it here again and CI CD. We can create new variables. The name of the variables is GitLab token. And we can copy the value here so we will not lose it. We can also mask it if we want to and save. Now, as you can see, our variable is created. If we want to see it again, we can click on this edit button and the values is available for us to use. After this token is available, we go back to our VS Code and now we can commit our code. If we go to GitLab now and go to pipelines, we can see that one job a GitLab runner is running. We click on it and look at the terminal. Now GitLab runner has finished the job. We can see that the job succeeded in the bottom here. If we go to deploy and then packet registry, we can see a new package called test-package with the version of 1.0.0 and the tag of latest. And this one will be matched with the one in our package validation file. You will go to VS Code and open our package validation file. 
we can see that it's version 1.0.0 and the name is right here. So now in our test code, let's try to use this um, package that has been published to registry. In order to do that, first, I want to unlink from the local machine. Just to make sure we can do like remove all the node modules and package lock and everything to make sure it's a clean project. And because the package is private, so before we try to pull it out of the registry, we have to create an npmrc file. Because the package we're trying to download has a my GitLab handle as a prefix, so we have to specify with this handle where is the registry. In here, we already published to this registry, so we specify in our npm rc file right here. And also, we need to uh, put the token in here, the one that we just create. So I just remove this one. And put the one we just created before into this MPMRC file. And with this MPMRC file, now we can start to um, download this test package. So we do like a normal MPM and the, the name of the package. But remember, the package is not test package anymore. It has the prefix of Magilla handle at the front. So we do like this. And now, if we look at our test code folder, there's a node modules, but there is no symbol. Instead, we see Magilla handle is in the folder name, and there's an index folder, which is our sum function. In order to make sure that it works, we can do node main in the name I have to change the, the package name as well. And again the code now is working as expected. That could be it for this video. Thanks for watching and I see you guys in the next video. Bye.